Hello and welcome today to the Terraria Milestone 2 so I can show off what I have also worked on so far. For this one I mainly wanted to start working on, I wanted to start and finish hole 3, get the teleporter set up for all the holes that I have currently done just to make sure that they're all working and to work start working on hole 4. As a quick note, I have not started on hole 4, instead I started on hole 5 because I actually had an idea for hole 5. Unlike hole 4, which I am currently having no creative mind whatsoever, I started building out a place for it because it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be B related. So down in this area, yeah, it's down this path. I started building out this little hive area. I took a pre-existing hive and built it out. I also found out that if you put hive walls down onto regular onto the original hive walls, they don't layer on top of each other. It leaves like a straight line across it as to where the divide is. So I had to take down all the walls and put down all new walls. And I'm gonna turn something into this with the hive and honey based. And I have no idea what yet. So that'll be worked on once I do. Until then, I'm just gonna keep going, but with the holes set. So instead, of, so for hole three, I I'll, oh yeah, I also small note added in these little soaring insignias, which make it so you just have infinite wing speed, infinite if the infinite flight. Figured it this might help and make things a little bit easier. So hole three, you start off in this mini dungeon-esque building that I create built to sort of mimic the main dungeon. The sign tells you that hole three is to the left because it's not within sight when you first get teleported in, and that the power for the course is three. I put the power on the course for that hole and not on this sign because I wanted this sign to be on its own so that I could start making signs that don't have the powers that players will hopefully actually read them. Uh, it tells you that sometimes the area around the hole might hold a secret or a shortcut. In this case, it is a shortcut, which is... Do I have a... Where is my... There it is. You can see there's a little path right here. Normally, if, if the player has a light pet on, cool, they, they might see it. They might not notice. If they don't, I have the room set up so you actually can't see it. But if the player takes their putter and goes to hit it, but they're exploring the room, it's like, oh, what is that? They can hit it into it, which takes them all the way down around the side of the hole, out the bottom, and down here, which... Yeah, if I had gotten that in a hole in one, it would have been beautiful. Normally, the player would hit the ball down the little ramp, and there are these platforms in the way because in hole one, where the player lo should learn that they can't go down through the platforms, it will teach the player. So in that this one, they can learn, oh, it'll get stuck caught. There's supposed to be a form of obstacle for the player. Uh, am I actually gonna? I actually made it all the way down. Okay then, you saw it here. Um, I, hmm. That was supposed to take longer for showing it off. I guess not. Uh, so I wanted to use these ultra bright torches because I just personally like the white look to them instead of like the reddish orange that regular torches give off. Uh, Cause that, that's what I've been using for every other hole so far. But for the dungeon, I decided to go against that and just use these water candles, which I normally found in the dungeon anyways. Like this, the dungeon is the only place you can get them. So norm I wanted to use them because they give it, gave it a more dungeon-y feel. Uh, I had to change some of this because originally the dungeon basically just went down. So I had to remake some of it to make it so this had actual little cuts and turns in it. Uh, it sucks, but we're here now and it works and I basically just copied another dungeon from another world of mine, and it works, and looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, if we go back to the the starting house, uh, we then have hole five, which starts off where you come here, and this one is the elevator. It takes you to hell, so you can fight the wall of flesh, which is just going to be a really long straight away. And it tells you down the elevator we go. There is currently not a par on this sign. There will be, but there isn't because I don't know what it is yet, because I haven't finished though. So far, we have it where the player would hit the ball, and that's just, it doesn't actually matter how strong you hit it, you just have to hit it, and it goes down the hole. Actually, I should probably 
hole. And the ball goes down the elevator if you look on the map. I hate myself. Whatever, well, we'll just hit it down and then I will follow it to make it go a little bit quicker because it's slow. We'll pull out a slime mount. I'm gonna probably put slime mounts. I still have to light up the whole area. You can tell I'm still falling because the swords have it and every once in a while something light related goes up. I'm gonna light it up. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. I might just do different levels of torches depending on what cavern level you're at. Like I might do regular torches and then as you get lower swap to like obsidian torches which give off like this that those ones they get like these ones they give off like the nice little purple glow glow also probably going to give everybody these mounts because they make you fall faster oh shit i actually landed over here that's pretty good um so i have it set up currently where the player can go up and over this and my painted arrow is gone come up and over here and then it's going to go over here uh the hole is going to extend i have the hole is going to come up and over here because the wall flush is normally a pretty long fight. You basically, normally the way you do it is you build up this really long platform and then you go across it. And that's how the player would fight is. You just basically kite the thing. So I'm going to sort of have it where it's sort of like, oh no, the wall of flesh spawned and now you're going down the path. So I also have it, so I have it set up currently so the player can go up and over this if they want to. Or also, if the player notices, because they might not, the painted arrow says to go up. And if they notice, you can also go through this door. You come in here, there's a platform here so the player's ball won't fall through. And up out this side. Sort of like a shortcut if you can do it in less hits. The other thing is, I have it set up so that this hole is open as a sort of obstacle in case the player comes up and over. Hits the, something over here, and it goes backwards where they might fall in and then has to use an extra stroke to get it back out. And it's just a time that I'm probably going to leave open because it makes it look more natural. Uh, I might make it so it looks not as natural because currently it's pretty open. And yeah, so like if you do something like that, you can then use... Uh, uh, there you go. Da, would you look at that? I made it through. God, I love that they gave me lines. And then I'm probably just going to try and make it where once you get over here, it's basically just a giant straight shot. I'm going to build out this platform more, but I'm going to start. I was going to change it up right here. I was going to fill in this hole. I haven't gotten to finish that yet. I was going to fill in the hole and then make it where it's just a single platform thick, probably like this. Because normally it's like you need a bunch of resources, this is early on the game. You don't have any really quick mining equipment, so it takes a little while, and we're going to build that out. Um, yet again, teleporters for this suck, because so for teleporters, you can see all the wiring. You have to place it one at a time, and it doesn't place that quickly. And I had to go. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. I had to place the wire and bring it all the way across the map over here. Which, when I can't go at full speed, takes about... 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how far you're going. I'm going to need to do it to bring it over here. I maybe have a plan of making it go quicker, but I don't know. I have ideas that I wish I did the first time around, which would have made it a lot easier. But we didn't, so I have to redo it. You can see all the different wires. When I'm done, I think it'll be funny to take a picture of this whole area and everything. And when I'm done, I'm going to probably delete this house at the end and then reshape it to be like a nice little golf entrance area. I don't know. I don't know. That's what my friends kept telling me to do. So we're going to look into that and see how much extra time I have when I'm done. Um, that's all for this week. Next week. Hope hole five will be done. Hopefully, hole four is started. Maybe hole six is started instead. I'm ex I'm really excited to finally finish this hole five because so the wall of flesh normally is the start of when you beat wall of flesh hard mode starts. And I'm gonna make the holes harder. I'm gonna add a, I want to add a lot more stuff to it. Hole six is supposed to be the mechanical bosses, which will be really fun because I'm gonna have my friend who knows a lot more of all this mechanical side of Terraria with the engines and the gears and the other pieces of it. I'm gonna have him come in and help me with it because I don't know anything about that. 
Oh, I gotta stop. I got the teleporters working. But he's gonna come in, he's gonna help me, and I wanna do some things with conveyor belts and hitting plat pressure plates with your ball that are gonna make walls disappear because there's actuators so you can make blocks appear and reappear and it'll be really interesting. And I hope it'll be really cool. I have high hopes for it. Um, I'll just have to see how it turns out. And as I'm standing here talking, I am noticing something that is really frustrating because if you notice the torch turned off, which I've been trying to avoid because if you have the wires hit the torch, it'll make it so the torches turn off. There we go, now it doesn't. So that's fun. Okay, well, thank you, and I will see y'all next time. That is the stupidest YouTube outro I've ever done.